This is S. B. Sangre, working as assistant professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Cadiz College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Uh, we are talking about the course Advanced Automobile Design, and we are talking about unit number of one, that is requirement specifications in the pre-program stage. Uh, today we are going to discuss discuss lesson four, which is introduction to trims, uh, which will be continuation in uh, continuation of last uh, session uh, that we in which we are talking about the trims. You can see the next interior trim element is uh, the central console. So you can see uh, whatever you are observing here. So this is the central console. This is the top view of the central console. You can see here the central console. This is located in between two seats, front seat. So uh, just imagine the passenger seat and driver seat, and this is located in between that. And normally many cars may have different structure of this central console. Some cars may may have only one opening that is door and some bottle holders. Some cars may have opening plus some controls of AC. There can be some controls. For example, in this diagram, you can see there are certain controls. So these con controls can be anything. In some cars, it is AC knob. It can be some uh, door related or lock related. It can be automatic transmission. As if it is automatic transmission, then it can be gear shifting, whatever. So basically, this is the central console. This is the top view, and there is small luggage compartment and bottle holder also. Uh, then next part is again illustrated. Uh, this is the storage compartment located between the driver and co-driver seat. So we have discussed this. Then uh, you can see this is the bezel. So this is the central console trim bezel. So bezel is the aesthetic member. So the function is to improve the aesthetic appeal of the central console. This is normally chrome plated or it can be veneer plated which improves the aesthetic or looks of the central console and in modern car luxury cars normally this is provided in entry level cars this may not be actually the trim bezel but in modern cars it is there normally okay then next one is again the details you can see from rear side it will look like this so in many uh, new cars the rear side of that central console includes ac vents um, recently this trend has started in India, previously cars normally did not have any rear side AC vents but nowadays all the cars are having rear side AC vents and if uh, this facility is available in the car normally the air conditioning and AC vents are provided on the central console, console like this because this is very efficient because uh, if provided this will efficiently cool the rear passenger side of the car. Okay, and this is the opening, uh, the door are opening in this way and in this way or it can be hinged here and it can open in this way also. So both the things are possible. Uh, this also acts as an armrest because many people can uh, put their arm while sitting on the seat on this. Again, it is designed for that. And as I discussed earlier, if the car is uh, automatic transmission, then it can hold the gear knob also. So uh, there are high entry, high level cars have the gear knobs wherein you can change the ratio in automatic transmission. Then next part is door trim. So you can see uh, this is the interior photograph of the door typically. The door trim is the interior portion of the door. So whatever you observe here that means this plastic part, there is one more plastic part, uh, there is this particular rubber beading, there is some speaker here. So all this includes the door trims. Uh, obviously, the most important function of door trim is to hold certain mechanisms. Now, what are the mechanisms? There are two important mechanisms. First important mechanism is the window opening and closing mechanism. So, you know in most of the modern cars, uh, there are buttons. So, when you press the button, normally window opens and closes. In old generation cars, there was manual handle and when you rotate that, uh, window was opening and closing. So, again that is one sort of mechanism. So, this door trim holds this particular mechanism inside that. Secondary to that, there is another mechanism that is related to locks, so door locking. So, you know, uh, in automatic door locking, normally at certain speed, the door automatically gets locked and there is manual locking also. So, uh, these two mechanisms are hold in position by using this door trim. In addition to this, normally there is some bottle holder inside that wherein you can place the water bottles. There is small compartment where you can uh, put the casual items like maps or documents or pockets and watches, mobiles or even <coughs> goggles, something like that. So, few cars have that opening also, that compartment also. 
another function of door trim is to hold and support the music system speakers because most of the cars will have at least one or two uh, music system speakers again that is a uh, important manifest uh, function and again again there can be a handle so it it acts as an armrest uh, because another arm most of the people will put on that particular door trim part so this is the function of door trim then next is pillar trim so you can see uh, the pillar trim uh, typically this is the inside view of a pillar we have discussed what is a pillar and this is the a pillar upper trim so you can see this is the a pillar upper trim that means the a pillar upper is from here to here so this is the upper portion of a pillar okay and below this normally is the lower portion so we are not considering so this is the interior a pillar trim upper side of that and Similarly, there, there will be a pillar trim on the lower side. So, as I discussed, uh, the lower a pillar trim is here and this is the plastic part. Now, I will ask one question, just you can hold the or pause the video and answer. We have discussed a pillar upper trim in previous slide and we are discussing, we have just discussed a pillar lower trim in this slide. What is the difference between these two as far as finishing is concerned? What do you think? My question is, what is the difference between a pillar upper and a pillar lower trim as far as finishing is concerned the look aesthetic is concerned you just can think on that and you can guess the answer okay i will continue now then similarly there is b pillar upper and in next slide there will be b pillar lower you can see there is one opening uh, here uh, to fit and or to support the seat belt you can see there is one seat belt fitted here and this is there there is one more important function of uh, pillar trims is to allow the access or opening for airbags because in many modern cars uh, apart from front steering there are side airbags also and those side airbags are provided on these pillar trims now the main important function of pillar trim is to allow the opening of airbag bags because if the pillar trims are too strong those will not open those will not break and airbag will not come out of that okay on the other hand if the pillar trims are too weak then what will happen when airbag opens these pillar trims will break off in separate pieces these will fly off and that flying pieces of this particular trims will injure the passengers so the condition is that this should break but this should not break into pieces this should break obviously but it should not fly away if this flies away it will cut the passengers it will injure the passengers so that is important requirement very important requirement rather then similarly this is the b pillar lower uh, this is the lower side of uh, b pillar normally seats are there so this is not directly visible in most of the cars and again uh, these are the interior parts of the b pillar lower okay again the same question that i asked previously what is difference between a pillar upper and a pillar lower i you just pause the video and search for this answer too then next one similarly c pillar upper trim this is there in uh, c pillar and if the car has d pillar there will be d pillar also but normally you can see the d pillar is available only in larger cars like suvs normally for sedans and hatchbacks or crossovers d pillar is not there so again this is the plastic part again there are opening for seat uh, seat belt and so on so these all are the trim pillars then there is seating trims so all the seats you can see the seat also includes in trim seat is also included in trim the leather trim so normally the cover of seat is leather pure leather is used normally in high segment cars because it is extremely expensive normal mid segment or entry level cars whatever leather we see that is synthetic leather that is not a pure leather that is artificial leather which comes cheap because pure leather is very expensive and in most of the advanced luxury cars they are using pure leather again there can be one cup holder and uh, other facilities in uh, luxury cars at rear then overhead and headliner trims you can see uh, this is the inside picture of roof so if you just observe the roof from inside above you are observing this <clears throat> and this is the actual plastic part which is fitted there now this is the largest part of interior trims this is important point this is the largest part of interior trims and only access to this part is from front glass opening this part cannot go inside the passenger compartment through doors or rear door the only opening from which or through which it can enter into passenger compartment is the rear uh, front glass 
okay and because of this this part has to be fitted before you fit or attach the glass this is important so you first fit this then you attach the glass because there is no other opening through which it can enter this is a very large part so this is important part then these are the carpets uh, these are the floors mats you have seen uh, this can be rubber mat there can be fabric mat but most of the vehicles use fabric mat uh, the logic is very simple uh, the fabric mat normally protects the painting or coating of the base metal because see because of shoes soles soles of the shoes or uh, footwear over a period of time the protecting coating gets damaged and the steel at that particular floor of your BRW will start corroding or uh, corrosion will start to protect that normally uh, be, uh, mats are provided the mats can be fabric mats it can be rubber mats also similarly there are mats in front floor rear floor and even in luggage uh, also so this is all about it the function is to protect the floor from because of wear and tear because of footwear soles okay then trunk trims this is the luggage opening and again there are some plastic part there is one flat panel be below which there is one tire so all these things this, this plastic part there is one bulb here or there is one charger here usb charger here 120 volt uh, supplies there uh, again this flat panel is protected and covered with rubber or fabric coating so all these includes trunk trims so this was all about uh, the various commodities extensions so in next uh, lesson we will be discussing kano model okay thank you for that time